Kenya National Union of Teachers Secretary General Wilson Sosion suffered a major setback in his quest to overturn the decision by the teacher's employer TSC to deregister him as a teacher after the Employment and Labor Relations Court dismissed his application for lack of merit. In the case, the Teacher Service Commission defended its decision made on 15th January 2018 to terminate Soshon's services as a teacher after failing to resign or retire from the service despite his nomination as a member of parliament. The commission had written to both Soshon and Kupet chairman Omboko Milemba informing them that they were no longer teachers. Meanwhile, a police officer arrested for allegedly extorting money from a driver attached to former Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich has been ruined in court. Ariba Ryoba Daniel, an officer attached to Kamukunje Police Station, faced charges of extorting 200,000 shillings from Mohamed Kiptirim Arab Cheboy, appearing before Senior Principal Magistrate Kennedy Cheruyot. Ryoba was slapped with a cash bail of 40,000 shillings on an alternative bond of 100,000 shillings after denied two counts of extortion and demanding money using threats. Ryoba is accused that on 24th January this year within Nairobi County, he threatened to charge Cheboy with an offense of forging appointment letter of African Disaster Response and Virus Research Foundation. In the second count, Ryoba was charged with demanding 100,000 shillings from Peter Oyalo Mose, threatening to have him charged with an offense of forging an appointment letter of African Disaster Response and Virus Research Foundation. And former Kenya Bureau of Standards Managing Director Charles Ngwai won the court to dismiss an application by the Director of Public Prosecution seeking recusal of a presiding magistrate in a criminal case facing him and others. Through his lawyers, Ngwai informed the court that the application by the DPP was made in bad faith and should be disallowed by the court as it comes one year since Ongwai and four others were charged. In the case, the DPP argues the trial magistrate has openly expressed bias and will not be fair in handling the case. Ben Chumba, reporting for Scales of Justice.